All right, I uh, thought I would do a little uh, quick unboxing, untagging. Um, I just got this in today, and uh, it's something I've been thinking about a lot because of everything that went on in 2020 with the pandemic. Uh, it got me thinking a lot more about solo games and solo RPGs. And so uh, I, I've checked out a couple. I found some interesting variations on games I already knew that I have tried to run for myself a little bit solo uh, with varying degrees of success. I haven't done as much as I would like. Um, I actually in 2020 was not as uh, secluded as a lot of people. I was off briefly from my job but uh, relatively soon into things was back physically there every day and so I really didn't have the uh, enforced downtime that some folks did that, that ended up prompting, I think, a lot of people to try solo RPGs. So, anyhow, uh, I thought I would check this out. Uh, I also thought I'd get this out of the way at the beginning of the video. Uh, okay. Uh, that, you know, I am a an independent author. Uh, my forte is science fiction, although um, sometimes what I write comes off a little bit as fantasy, but uh, it's always from a science, well, not always, but it's usually from a science fiction-y sort of mindset. Uh, also write some little bit of Lovecraftian horror. There's some available on my Amazon uh, page for Kindle, and, uh, you know, you can always check out my Patreon and other uh, things that you'll see links for below. So what I got today was the Micro Chapbook Sci-Fi RPG. And I know that there's another Micro Chapbook uh, RPG that's more fantasy uh, connected, but as a sci-fi nerd, I thought I would try this out. I've seen multiple reviews on YouTube that have said positive things about the fantasy version. I haven't seen a lot about the science fiction version yet, um, but I do like the sound of ultra-simple Rules for Solo Role-Playing in a Grim Science Fiction World designed by uh, Noah Patterson. So uh, I haven't, again, really looked at this very much. Um, find this on Drive-Thru RPG. That's a handy site. Uh, I believe that you can... Um, oh yeah, it even says here, Stop, don't buy this book. And, uh, and it explains that you can get a free version of it. Um... Yeah, if you go to Drive Through RPG, you can check out a um, a free version of the system. So uh, I I could have done that. I was aware of it. I did not do that. Um, I wanted to check this out. I'm not as big on PDFs. I, I like physical books, but uh, you can see there's some black and white illustrations, which you know get the job done. I mean, this is a very inexpensive um, physical book, uh, so I'm not you know demanding high-end stuff, but, you know, the art is, actually, the art's not bad. I'm, like, looking through, and it's it's not too bad. So, I have a bunch of toolkits that I've ended up getting that are uh, useful for, you know, spawning ideas for scenarios, but also for, um, you know, for solo play, for coming up with ideas on stuff. So, I'll be really curious to see how it works, uh, how... This, I might be able to, you know, mesh in with some other things that I have. You know, stuff on ranged combat, melee combat, running away, with a boss, aliens, you know. Um, you know, I tried Four Against Darkness, which I thought was, was interesting. Um, especially with the earlier books for that, it's very, very dungeon crawl. I mean, that is, that is what it, it's what it's meant to do. It's meant to kind of, um emulate the dungeon crawl. Here's some other micro chapbook RPG stuff. Uh, you know, and, and I, I guess, you know, when you're doing a, a solo game, maybe that's really what you're going to get is a, a dungeon crawl or maybe a hex crawl that with, you know, traveling into different places and rolling randomly. I think back to a board game that I loved when I was a child and I haven't played in a really long time. I did find a copy, I finally acquired it, called Source of the Nile. It was an old Avalon Hill game about African exploration. And uh, the center of Africa, everything like off the coast, was left blank with blank hexes. So that every time you started an expedition, uh, you could discover a completely different Africa from what was really there. And I always found that 
concept very interesting. So the hex crawl could be something um, that I enjoy doing uh, solo. So, so this is something that I want to look into more. I want to try some more solo games. Uh, and I really just, I haven't done as much as I'd like to. So I thought this as a very inexpensive option would be something to try out. Um, so that's what I've got today. Um, you know, again, please do check out uh, the links below and uh, you know, support me if you can. I'd love to continue to produce con content for uh, YouTube, but also I'd like to be able to produce just more content in general. Um, and uh, support allows me to do things like pick up uh, a book like this. So anyhow, thank you very much and uh, take care.